Hello everyone and thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Basics video. This video is all about fonts and working with fonts. Now your Silhouette Studio software can work with most fonts that are available on your computer. Additionally, you can also purchase fonts online at the Silhouette Online Store. However, those fonts that you purchase from the Silhouette Online Store may or may not work in different programs. So they are technically a font, but they have been designed specifically to work within Silhouette Studio. And the opposite can be said. You can bring any font from outside to inside Silhouette Studio, but sometimes they don't always work the way that is predicted or that you predict that they will work. But anyways, to use a font, what you're going to do is select the typing or text tool from the left hand side of your screen and you can click anywhere on your cutting mat and then you just type a word on your keyboard. Now the default font is usually Arial because that's the first font most people have on their computer. Now to change that font, you're going to go ahead and highlight it just like you would in Microsoft Word or Outlook or an email and you can go down the list and you can select different fonts and see how they look. Now additionally you can go and change your justification if you have a lot of text, your character spacing or your line spacing just like you would in a word processing program. But once you're happy with the font that you've chosen you either can send it directly to the machine to cut out or you can decide to connect those letters together and connecting the letters together is referred to often as welding and it's done with fonts that are in cursive. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and change this hello to a font called blackjack. Oops, I don't have blackjack installed on this computer. So we're going to go with billabong because that is another font that I am positive that is in script. So I'm going to go ahead and make this really big so that you can see that when it was really small, it looks like those letters were connected. And if you were typing in a word processor, it would look like they are connected, but they're not. You can see here each place where there's a red squiggle, it's actually going to cut through and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is weld this font together. Now, some fonts land nicely and you don't have to move each of the letters around. But in this case, some of the letters are still spaced out that could be touching. So what we're going to do is click on the word, right click the mouse and go down to ungroup. Now a box is going to appear around each letter and each letter can be moved independently. So if I grab this L, I can actually drag it over so that it's touching this letter. And I could also do the same thing in the other direction, drag this so that it's touching that letter. Now some fonts just don't weld very well together. You'll have to space the words back. They won't be touching, just like your natural handwriting may look. And some fonts work beautifully welding without any manipulation. But once you decide you have the letters where you want them to appear, you're going to take your mouse and draw a box around all of them to select them together. And then you, you're going to weld them, which essentially just means connect, like welding two pieces of metal. And you can weld several ways. The method that I prefer is to right click and then there's actually a button that says weld or an option that says weld on that menu and everything will become connected. Additionally, if I go and I undo this, there's it's still selected, but there's also a weld at the bottom left hand corner of this menu down here. And these options, which I don't refer to too often, are shortcuts for things found other places. So if I click right there, there's also the same weld that was in this right click menu. So that is it for working with fonts and welding. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And as always guys, thanks for watching.